Hey guys, Neil with Trip the Road here, and today I could not find my car keys. Luckily, earlier this year, I actually made a CAD model of my Dodge Shadows car key, and I was able to 3D print it. This key fits in the ignition, and you can actually turn the ignition cylinder. The ignition cylinder in this car has a little nubs on the side, so you don't have to turn it by the key. The problem is that the key is made of plastic, so you cannot use it in the door locks. So what I did is I went on eBay and picked up an 8-pack of 1990s era Chrysler keys and we're going to try and cut these from this copy on a key machine. Alright, let's go to the key machine. So this is your typical hardware store style key maker. A lot of department stores such as Home Depot and Lowe's use more modern automatic machines. But this is a fairly manual machine. You have to line up the key on each side so the keys are in identical spots. And I'll demonstrate with the blanks I got, I'll put one here and one here and show you how they line up. Normally, you'd put your original key on this side and your blank on this side. And you have to line them up exactly at the edge here and they have to be vertically lined up exactly as well. So usually with these machines, you use one-sided keys like older car keys and house keys. Most modern car keys have teeth on both sides, as you can see on our 3D printed key here. So what I have to figure out, since this key is not exactly the same shape as this key, it's going to take a little bit of adjusting to figure out where to position it in the key making machine to get the best result. And this looks pretty close. This edge lines up with where those edges are. So now we're actually going to run the machine. So how these machines work, there's a cutting wheel and there is a reader arm. I don't know the exact term. There's an actual term for it, but I did not do my research on key machines before making this video. So as this cuts, this arm will stop the cutter from going into the key more than it has to. And this is how you get your key copy. And since this key is double-sided, we don't have to remove this because the teeth are identical on each side. We'll just have to flip this key over once we make this cut. So without further ado, let's give it a try. All right, so this is our first side. Let's flip it around and try and get the same thing on the other side. Then we're gonna take our key and we're gonna buff it on the buffing wheel. Now we're going to take a quick look and make sure both sides are symmetrical or congruent and it looks like everything lines up on both sides. So let's go put this in the door lock and see if it works. All right, so we're at the car, this beautiful 1993 Dodge Shadow ES convertible. Not many of these left and we got our key. Moment of truth. And there you have it. We are able we are able to use our key copy made from a printed piece of plastic to open the door cylinder. Now let's see if it works in the ignition cylinder, which can vary from car to car. Sometimes they have one extra tooth as a security measure. And it works. So as you can see, you could theoretically use a 3D printed key as a backup. This would allow you to store a copy of your key on something like a flash drive or your computer's hard drive for safekeeping. Many cars also use a standard set of pins and you can actually get a code from these and write that down and you can get a key made from that number. A lot of locksmiths will know how to do this and there are some enthusiasts on the car forums out there that can tell how to make a key copy of your key just by looking at the picture. I know there's one guy on the Dodge Neon forums, you can send him a picture of your early to mid 90s Chrysler key and he can give you the code or he can make a copy just by looking at the picture. He's that good at making key copies. So it's crazy to think this key was essentially made from a photograph of the original key. All I needed to make the CAD file was the total length of the key and the proportion of the image. I think I got the dimension of 
this blade too, the key blade. And with those two dimensions, I was able to simply trace the image and store a file of this key on my computer and then 3D print it and put it in the key machine. Now I understand most viewers don't have access to both a key machine and a 3D printer. So it is very key that you don't lose your keys in the first place. Anyways, that's a video. Thanks for watching. I don't really know where we're going with that pun, but don't lose your keys. Don't make the mistake I made. I'm sure they'll turn up. They're probably on the couch. I'm gonna put these down. Keep rolling. I'm gonna hold the key. The key's cool. It's another key point to make. We really love making videos and sharing our uh, projects. So if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us bring you cool project videos. And don't forget to comment your favorite timestamp below. <laughs> 151 was my favorite. That was my favorite part. I don't even know what's at 151, but just comment it. Let's see what's at 151, everyone. All right. Let's start filming. Holy crap. It's haunted. There's a ghost. This Roy I, I knew that thing was haunted. <laughs> okay. Listen, I...